we have some optional equipment, but if you don't have equipment at home, that is okay. You can grab a water bottle as equipment or a jug of laundry detergent, anything you have around the house. I'm using some weights. I like to recommend using five pound weights for most of our exercises because this is functional fitness and most of the exercises we do in our everyday living use five pounds. Your purse is probably five pounds. When you carry things at the grocery store, five pounds. So I'm gonna encourage you to grab a five pound weight set if you have it. A couple of the exercises I'll be using this fender ball for support, certainly not required. If you have a squishy ball at home, you can use that or a small lightweight pillow as an option. We have our chair here used for balance as we need it. Make sure your chair is sturdy and won't move as we do the exercises. We do have the option for some of the exercises to get down on the floor. So if you'd like to place a towel or mat down for that, but certainly all of the exercises you can do from a standing or seated position as well. And I'll be demonstrating those through the workout. So grab your equipment, grab your drink. Hopefully you've had a light snack. You tested your blood sugar if necessary. And if you have a watch, you can go ahead and get that started for our exercise today. We don't want to forget that, track our steps. Let's get started. Are you excited? Our first move, high knees. We're going to drive our knees up towards our belly button. Drive those knees up. Now, if you need the chair for balance, it's right here. You can certainly use it. We also have a seated option available. You can march right here from the chair. Now, if you're using the chair, I'm gonna encourage you to not lean back on the chair. We wanna keep our nice, tall posture. Next movement, butt kicks. So we're kicking a flexed foot, engaging the back of our leg, using our hamstring muscle. Squeeze. We're using the chair for balance or without the chair. Pump those arms. Kick, kick. Alternating squats and lunges. Squat, lunge it back. When we do our lunge, our feet want to be parallel. We want to drive our knees straight down. Squat, lunge back other side. Again, you can use that chair for balance or no chair. If you find your foot is going out to the side, I want you to make your stance a little bit wider and bring your feet closer. You want to keep those knees in alignment to prevent knee injury. Side lunge reach. If you're using the chair, stepping to the side, Side of the leg pushing back on the glute. Reach. Use the chair. Reach. Transferring your weight. Let's do that on the other side. Using the chair, stepping behind. Side lunge. Reach. Without the chair. Still pushing back, we want to track our knee behind our toe, getting that good stretch on the inside here. Push, push. Our next move is going to be a balance move. If we're using the chair, alternating opposite bird dog, extending arm and leg balance, hard surface. Get a sip of water. We're ready to get into the work part of our exercise. Grab, grab it. Our, our protocol today is Tabata. 20 seconds of water. raise, front raise. Down, rest. 
front raise to the side. If you're having some shoulder breathe, nice tall posture. Again, you can always use this chair for balance. If you're using the chair for balance, you're going to do one arm and then you're going to switch to the other arm. Okay? Using the chair, you could stand behind. Rest. Again, this isn't a requirement, but if you feel like your knees are bucking in, this is going to help position those knees for good safety and alignment to prevent injury. You got this. Pressing through the heels. We're sitting back like we're aiming for that chair. If you don't need the chair for balance, I'm going to challenge you to sit down like you're sitting in the chair. Here we go. Sit down and get up. This is functional movement that we need in our everyday life. Getting out of the chair to get up and get a sip of water or answer the door. Up and down. Oftentimes, we find that if you have a chair there and you're aiming for that chair, you're going to get a little bit lower because you're not afraid to fall. We want you to feel secure. Check your feet for me. Make sure that both toes are pointed to the front as we do the exercise. Again, remember you have the option of having your arms here, okay? And down. Rest. Shake it out. We have one more of this exercise. Get ready, chest open. Sitting back like you're aiming for that chair, aim for that chair, lower, lower. Pressing up through the heels. Nice and slow. As you get tired, we're going to want to move those arms a little bit faster. We want to take our time, make the muscles work. It's only 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Rest. Set the weight down. Set the, the weights down as well. Our next move is a creeper lunge. We're going to come back into the creeper lunge, butt back, knee behind the toe, Inside, outside, inside, half, or the quad in a tree balance. No pressure on the knee. If you're not using the chair, you're right here. Outside, inside, outside, push off, tree balance. We're staying on one side. For the next set, we're going to do the other side. Pushing back. Transferring your weight. Push one more time. You can even do your tree arms if you'd like. This is engaging balance to prevent falls. Strengthening our ankle. Using our core. Other side. Remember we're switching. To the outside. Inside. Outside. Push off. Again, remember your options. Outside. Inside. Outside. Knee cap or quad. Last one. You have the option of reaching up. Whether you're on the chair or not, you can do one arm up. Your choice. This is your workout. Challenge yourself. Outside. Inside. Outside. I forgot to switch. You got to switch. We don't want to be crooked. Push off. Ankle, calf, or quad. Use that core for balance. If you don't feel stable, have that chair ready. Grab onto it. Rest. Shake it out. How are you doing? Nice tall posture. Engage your core all the way around. Those supporting muscles. This is your fall prevention right here. So many options. Depending on where you're at today. And even on different sides. Might feel more challenging on any given day. 
you might feel more secure. Rest. Get a sip of water as needed during our 10 second breaks. Other side, get ready. Sometimes our balance is better on one side than the other. And you'll be able to tell which side that is for you. Choose your option. Pushing back, getting that good stretch. Enjoy the stretch in the underside of this leg. Drive it up. Rest. Shake it out. Get your water as needed. Quick break. Breaks over. Here we go. Outside, inside, outside. Push. Transferring your weight. Challenge yourself. If you're using the chair, maybe you take a little bit less pressure on the chair. Hold it just with your fingertips. Rest. Eventually, you'll have enough strength and balance to do it without the chair. Again, this is fall prevention. We want you, if you have a misstep or trip over something, your cat gets in the way when you're walking down the hall, or you miss a curve, that you can stop and catch yourself with that one leg. And that's what's gonna prevent injury. We want you to be safe all the time. All right, here we go. Last one. Push off, reach. You're doing great. How do you feel? You should be working at about a six. Your heart rate should be a little bit elevated in our target zone because we're doing cardio. Even though we have strength movements, shake it out, rest. Balance, agility. Our next movement, no equipment necessary. Our feet are wide. If you're using the chair, have it in front of you. We're gonna go down into a sumo squat, up into a power position, arms up. We're gonna bring our toes up, a little bit of balance. Using our core muscles all the way around to help keep us upright, squeezing those calves. If you're using the chair, you're reaching, okay? And you can alternate, reach, reach, alternate. Getting up on those toes, squeeze the calves. Not using, you're right here, squeeze. Or you can make it faster. Remember, everyone's at a different place in their fitness level. The important thing is that you improve your fitness. Here we go. Reach. Reach. Now, if you're feeling super good, you can add a little jump. A little jump. Landing softly. Never required. Rest. Here we go. Reach. Reducing anxiety. Reach. Make yourself look big. Reach. Like a bear when they're in the woods and they get threatened, they stand up on their hind legs. Reach. Rest. Get your drink as needed during these 10 second breaks. Here we go. Reach. You have options. Alternate yourself big. Rest. Nicely done. Enjoy your break. Here we go. Up and out. Reach. Power position. These are strength movements. The important thing to remember is forward like this. Keep your chest nice and tall. So if you have a mirror in front of you, I want you to look and make sure you can see your logo on your shirt. Here we go. 
reach, reach. You got this. So strong, healthy fit. You can do it. Squeeze those calves. Last one, rest. Get that drink, quick sip. Breaks over. See if you can go a little bit lower now into your squat. Now that you're warmed up, your legs are getting stretched out. A little bit more flexible and limber. Reach. Reach. Guys, we got one more set of these. Only one more. You can do it. Here we go. And reach. Remember your options. You can hop it. You can certainly do the hop. Finish strong. Five seconds left. Oh yeah, squeeze those butt cheeks as we come up. Rest. Shake it out. Amazing job. The next movement is a lunge, lift, and reach. Using the chair, we're going to step back. Lunging down. Reaching up. Reach. We're going to stay on one side to facilitate the movement. Core imbalance is built into this because we're coming up on one leg. Now remember on our warm up, I told you to keep your legs like train tracks. As you reach down for your quad, calf, or even the floor, I want those knees to be tracking straight down. I want your feet parallel. Rest. If your toe again is out to the outside, your hip flexor is probably a little tight. So we want to take that foot wide and closer so we can facilitate that movement. Down, reach up, down, reach up. You got this. Reach, reach. You should be feeling this in the standing leg. Core is making you nice and tall. We need to switch to the other side. So other leg is stepping back. Again, you want to check that alignment. Knees tracking straight down. Drive it up, down, and up. Using the chair for balance if you need it. Reaching down for that quad, calf, or the floor. Up. Up. It's same arm and leg for this one is what we're doing. Sometimes I switch it up. Five seconds left. Do you feel the muscles and tendons in your foot calculating a little bit? That's getting you stronger. Other here we go. Stepping back and reach. Again, reaching for that quad, calf, or floor. Reach. If you need to have your hand on your quad here to push off, you can do that as well. Again, this is your workout. Make it count. And up. Reach. Rest. Other side. How are we feeling, guys? Stick with me. You're going to be stronger each and every time you do this workout. We're going to challenge your strength and keep you strong. We're going to make your muscles have better endurance so you have more energy throughout the day. We're going to have agility and coordination moves so that when you're doing daily activities, you're less likely to fall or have an accident. Here we go. Other side. And reach. And reach. Again, remember your options. Quad, calf, or floor. Chest is nice and tall. Pressing off. You should be feeling the outside of this standing leg rest as well as your quad. Last set. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Reach down, reach up, use your chair as needed. Reach. Okay, reach. Rest, get a sip of water. 30 second recovery. Okay, our next move, deadlift, grab your weights, bicep to overhead press. If you're using the chair for balance, we're right here, tipping at the hip, deadlift, feeling it in the back of the legs coming up, bicep curl, overhead press. If you're using the chair, you can alternate arms, right here, come down, up, curl, press, touch the tip, chair, tip it down like you're getting ready to put your forehead on the chair. One more, rotate, press it up, rest. Couple things on the deadlifts. We want our chest open and wide, feel your lower back engage. We're looking forward as we come down, our gaze comes down towards the floor. Nice flat back, you should feel it in the back of the legs, yeah? As you come up, squeeze, feel in your lower back, curl, overhead press. If you have any kind of shoulder injury or pain, rest. I don't want you to go high if it's uncomfortable. You can do a, a mini press here. Range of motion can be a little bit different, okay? And press. Here we go. Tipping at the hip. Nice chest open and wide, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, using your lower back to engage your core. Those back muscles are part of your core. Tipping at the hip. Nice long spine, like a seven. See that seven there? And rest. You're doing a great job. This is our last working exercise before our cool down. Here we go. Tipping at the hip. Coming down towards the chair. Now, depending on your range of motion, you might not go down as low. You might only go down to your kneecaps. We want you to get a good, comfortable workout. I want you to feel it in your hamstrings, and you might only be able to have good form to here. If you start to round your back and disengage your core, you're gonna look all rounded. We wanna stick that butt out, Engage these lower back muscles. Here we go. Curl it up and press. Again, your range of motion is your workout. You could make the movement a little bit smaller there and a little mini press here. Shake it out. How are we doing? If you're using the chair, you're right here. Forehead comes down, curl and press. Curl and press. Looking good, rest. How do you feel? Are you still in that six or seven range? I hope so, I hope you're getting a great workout today. We want you to work out safely and get an effective workout in this 30 minutes. Functional fitness helps you in your daily living activities. It's gonna help you put away things at home, take care of your living space, and live independently, or maintain activities that you really enjoy. Rest. We've got one more set, here we go. Curl and press. Nice and controlled. Squeeze those lower back muscles. As we come up, we want to feel them working. Last one. Great job. Set down the weights and get a drink. High fives all around. You guys are awesome. I hope you feel good. We're going to start our cool down with a curtsy. Cross your leg behind like you're giving a curtsy to the queen. 
tap, little crunch. Step back behind, tap, little crunch. If you're not using the chair, right here, tap, crunch. You can even reach down towards your floor or your foot, tap, crunch. We're gonna switch sides. On the other side, stepping behind, reach down, tap, crunch. Step back, tap, crunch. When we crunch, I want you to exhale so you feel it in that oblique. Stepping back, use your balance, crunch. One more. Shake it out. Let's do this again. Other side. Oh, we already did, we're doing a cool down. I want you to do another Tabata, silly me. All right, crunch. Set your weights down if you're sitting on the chair or the floor and you have your ball or your small pillow, put it in the small of your back. Opposite knee to elbow. Exhale as you drive the knee towards the opposite elbow. All right, lunging. Stepping back again, when we lunge, we want our feet both parallel. Arms are coming up and down. And then we're gonna tip forward, balance. Using the chair for balance here if we need. Let's do that again. Up and down, with or without the chair, reach. Extending, other side. Using the chair for balance, feet are parallel. Knees coming straight down, arm, inhale and exhale. And then you can reach forward here, or if it's more comfortable to have the arm back. Reach, keeping our hips square. All right, squat, if you're using the ball, and put it back between your legs. Squat down and exhale. Let's do that again. Chair, exhale, bring your arms around. Big inhale up. Exhale, hands behind the ears. Oh, that feels so good. Let's do that again. You can also be doing this in the chair. If you have good, pot, nice tall posture, we're still gonna get that good stretch. Exhale. Let's twist and rotate, look behind us. One side, one more time. Other side, twist. Like you're pulling out of your driveway and you have to look behind. Great job, everybody. I hope you feel as amazing as I do now. Keep up the good work. Drink some more water. Have a little post-workout snack. Don't forget to follow us on Healthy Fit Seniors and watch for our next workout. I'll see you next time.